Crime Watch city leaders in Gilroy have called a special meeting for next week. They want to address crime concerns and the growing homeless population. After police say that a homeless man from Virginia stabbed the owner of a local pizza shop over the weekend. More from Action News reporter Sierra Starks in Gilroy. My father has about 30 stitches. Sal Oliveri is on a pizza making hiatus after police say he was stabbed over the weekend at his Gilroy business Pinocchio's by this man. And he brandishes the knife and he starts to, you know, jump up and down and he, he has it just everywhere. And he tells us that he's going to kill us. Mark Almond, a transient from Virginia, now charged with attempted murder. It's not the Gilroy community that is threatening the safety of the, the citizens. It is the people coming from other cities. They are a definite threat and uh, we need to, to take back our city. It's that sentiment that was echoed hundreds of times to Councilman Daniel Harney on Facebook. It's the other set of the comments where we really need to get tough on crime in the city and ensure that people don't come here thinking it's okay to break the law. He and other city leaders are now trying to come up with solutions to tackle Gilroy's growing homeless population, plus a way to curb a number of crimes that have already marked the start of the year. One of the issues that we face is Gilroy accounts for 2.5 percent of Santa Clara population, yet we have 10 percent of Santa Clara's homelessness population. And I, I don't have anything against the homeless. I have I have something against people that are violent. You know, there, there's no reason to be violent. He's been in town for 40 years and he doesn't deserve, none of us deserve, for someone to come in and to harm us or to threaten us. There, there is absolutely no reason for us and something, something needs to be done. Sierra Starks reporting for us. To begin to address these concerns, city leaders have scheduled a special meeting next week, January 17th, Wednesday, 6 o'clock at City Hall. It will be open to the public.